Hello all, welcome to a new video on logic design. This video is beneficial for those students who are going to attempt logic design exam. In this video, I have included an important university question which have been chosen from the previous year question papers. I have published a few videos on the solutions of the university questions of logic design and a few videos on the selected topics from the course of logic design. The links of all those videos have been given in the description box. Watch the video till the end so that it will be helpful for you in the examination point of view. So let us move on to the video. Here is the question. Design a logic circuit using basic gates with the inputs DCBA that will produce an output 1 only when two adjacent input variables are 1 and D and A are treated as adjacent in this problem. So you have to follow four steps to design a logic circuit. The first step is write the truth table, then generate Boolean expression, then simplify the Boolean expression using KMAP and then draw the circuit diagram or the logic diagram. So these are the four steps that you have to follow to design a logic circuit. Here there are four inputs that is D, C, B and A and let Y be the output. Since there are four inputs or four variables, there are 2 to the power of 4 which is equal to 16 combinations of zeros and ones has to be given as the input. So this is the decimal values of all those 16 combinations that is 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. up to 15. So write the binary values of these decimal numbers. So in order to write the binary values, we can use the 8421 trick. 8 is 2 to the power of 3, 4 is 2 to, 2 to the power of 2 and 2 is 2 to the power of 1 and 1 is 2 to the power of 0. So what is the binary of 0? Binary of 0 is 0, 0, 0, 0. What is the binary of 1? By using the 8421 trick, write 1 under this 1 and the remaining bits are zeros. This is the binary of 1. What is the binary of 2? Write a bit 1 under this 2 and the remaining bits as 0. So this is the binary of 2. What is the binary of 3? 2 plus 1 makes 3. Therefore, write 1s under 2 and 1 and the remaining bits are zeros. Similarly, you can write the binary of 4. Binary of 4 is write a 1 under this 4 and the remaining bits are zeros. And uh, what is the binary of 5? 4 plus 1 makes 5, therefore write 1s under 4 and 1 and the remaining bits are zeros. Similarly, you can write the binary of 6, that is 4 plus 2 makes 6, therefore write 1s under 4 and 2 and the remaining bits are zeros. Similarly, you can write the binary values of 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. Now the next step is you have to write the output. So in order to write the output, you have to see the condition. The condition given in the question is the inputs DCBA produces an output 1 only when two adjacent input variables are 1. So for example, here two adjacent input variables are 1, therefore the output is 1. And one more important point given in the question is D and A. D and A are considered as adjacent. These uh, variables, these inputs D and A are considered as adjacent. Therefore, for example, here the input to D is 1 and the input to A is 1. So, since D and A are treated as adjacent, the output is 1. So let us start from the first set of input. So here all zeros, that means there is no adjacent ones here, therefore the output is 0. Here also there is no adjacent ones, therefore the output is 0. Here no adjacent ones, the output is 0. Here there are two adjacent ones 
uh, that is the inputs to B and A are adjacent uh, to each other. Therefore, the output is 1. Here there is no adjacent ones, output is 0. Here also there is no adjacent ones, output is 0. Here there are adjacent ones, therefore the output is 1. Similarly, here also in the next case there is no adjacent ones, therefore the output is 0. In this case, as D and A is treated as adjacent, their output is 1. Here no adjacent ones, output is 0. Here adjacent ones are there, output is 1. Similarly, for the remaining also all adjacent ones, therefore the output is 1. Now what is the next step? Next step is identify the ones in the output. We are going to place these ones in the K map to simplify and find the simplified Boolean expression. So you have to place these ones in the corresponding cell numbers in the K map. For example, this one, what is the corresponding uh, cell number of this one? It is three. So you have to place this one in cell number three in the K map. And the next one in the output is this. You have to place this one in the corresponding cell number six in the K map. Similarly, this one should be placed in the corresponding cell number that is cell number 7 in the K map place this one in the corresponding cell number that is 9 in the K map. Similarly, all these ones should be placed in the corresponding cells in the K map that is 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. Now let us plot the K map. There are four inputs here DCBA therefore you have to draw a 4 variable k map. The 4 variable k map consists of 2 to the power of 4 which is equal to 16 cells. So this is a 4 variable k map which consists of 4 rows and 4 columns. And there are 16 cells inside this k map which are numbered as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. Now we have to name these rows and columns 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Similarly, these four rows can be named as 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Now the next step is you have to place the ones from the output of the truth table in the corresponding cell numbers that is 3, 6, 7, 9, 11, 12, 13, 15, 14. Now what is the next step? We have to group the adjacent ones. Here you can see 4 adjacent ones are there in cell number 12, 13, 14 and 15. Therefore, you can form a group of ones here which is called as a quad. So, one quad is formed here. Now, next four bits. These ones can be grouped together that is in cell number 11, 15, 7 and 3. Since these cells are adjacent and these adjacent cells are having ones in it, four ones are there, we can group this. So we can form another quad here. Now you can see a one is left out in the cell 9 as well as in the cell number 6. So we can combine or we can group this one with the other adjacent cells that is 13, 15 and 1 contains one bit in these cells therefore you can group this left out one with these adjacent cells so that it forms a group of four ones which is another quad similarly with this one also you can form another four uh, group which is called one quad now you have to read the k map 
so you will get a product term from this group another product term from this group four groups are there so you will get four product terms from this so this product term is called as dc we can read this group as dc because this one one represents dc now what about this group we can read this group as da that is here uh, to this represents this group represents these two columns and these two rows that is 0111 and 1110 and see the constants here here on the first bit is changing from 0 to 1 so uh, omit that the second bit is not changing it is the same so it is constant so consider this bit and see the corresponding variable here the variable corresponding to this second bit is a write that here similarly for these rows 1110 here one changes to 0 so omit that the other one the first bit it is the same it is constant uh, this represents d the first bit represents d therefore da this group is called as the product term da now uh, next group next squad the product term is ba because this represents 11 one one represents 11 represents ba now the last group this is the last squad this group is called as cb here you can see uh this represents two rows and two columns these are the two rows sorry two columns 1110 here the second bit is changing from 1 to 0 omit that first bit is constant that is 1 so this first bit represents b write that b here and uh two rows 01 and 11 the first bit is changing omit that the second bit is constant the second bit represents c therefore c b now you have to write the simplified boolean expression so the simplified boolean expression is y is equal to y is the output y is equal to this term dc plus ba this term ba plus cb this is cb plus da so this is the simplified boolean expression now the final step is draw the circuit diagram from the boolean expression so this is the simplified boolean expression uh, we need dc ba cb da four four and gates uh, one for dc then for ba cb and da and the outputs of these and gates should be connected to a or gate so we need one or gate one or gate and four and gates now how many inputs are there d c b a four inputs d c b and a these are the four inputs so to the first and gate connect d and c d and c the inputs d and c is connected to the first and gate and it gives an output d c now to the second and gate connect the inputs b and a and it gives the output ba similarly cb c and b is connected to the third and gate it gives the output cb finally da d and a is connected to the last and gate the fourth and gate and the and it gives the output da now all these Uh, outputs are given to a or gate so that you will get the final output y that is y is equal to dc plus ba plus cb plus da so this is the circuit diagram here is the next question design a logic circuit that has four input and one output the output will be high only when majority of the input are high use k map to simplify The solution of this question have been explained in my previous video. The link of that video have been given in the description box. 
as well as here. Thanks for your time.